You're listening to Drive Time with John Reed on Jazz Radio 94.1 FM. And it's time now to talk movies. We've got the Gold Coast Film Festival coming up very soon. And on the line, we have one of our up-and-coming filmmakers, Michael Weatherhead, who's produced a documentary called Return to Gaza. Michael, thanks very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Now, tell us uh, about Return to Gaza and how you came to make this documentary. Well, a colleague of mine in Melbourne had done a bit of work uh, with a Palestinian Australian who's a musician. He'd done a musical video for him, and he was heading off to the Middle East and was thinking of trying to get a film crew along. And my friend really isn't into documentaries and asked me if I was interested, and it was right up my alley. So I uh, was filming on the Gold Coast at the time and flew to Melbourne earlier than I'd intended to met up with this character. The following day we shot the first footage and did a bit more that week and then he jumped on a plane to the Middle East with his wife and kids and we followed him about a month later over there and covered the Palestinian elections and a whole lot of other events which created quite a bit of drama for the documentary. So it was an exciting trip. And how difficult is it to get funding for this sort of movie? Well, I didn't get funding. I knew that I couldn't get funding in time to shoot it, but I was hoping to get some post-production funding to edit it, which is uh, the bulk of the work in most documentaries. And I nearly got there with the ABC. I had a couple of shots with them and a couple of shots with SBS, and I found an editor who was prepared to do it on the cheap for me, and I decided that I had enough good footage to make a good documentary. So I went ahead and uh, self-funded it. But uh, that'll probably be the last one I self-fund. Well, you've already won two awards. How did you get to get them into the uh, contests? Look, it, it, film festivals are uh, just a you know, process of applying and paying the entry fee. It's, it's a bit hit and miss. But I've got into 13 festivals all up and won two awards in the US and nominated for another four, which is great. So I'm sort of getting some credibility out of it and, in a sense, as a someone that's been making films for only a few years, uh, you know, getting festival recognition is a, a really good stepping stone to getting higher up in the industry. And one of the difficulty of making a new film is to get distribution around the country, and I suppose it helps to have a few awards under your belt. Definitely, definitely. The, fa- the fact that we're premiering at the Gold Coast Film Festival's uh, good and my central character's flying up from Melbourne and he and I will be doing a Q&A at the end of the screening. So... Hopefully we'll get a bit of coverage out of that as well. And how about more films and documentaries? Do you have more planned for the future? Yeah, there's no shortage of ideas. Getting them up and going and getting them funded is the hard part. I'm doing a slow one on uh, an Indigenous topic about a friend of mine who comes from a tribe who's lost all their culture and he wants to go through the process of law and become initiated and he's found an elder that's prepared to take him through it. But that one's going to be done over several years, so it's a very slow one. And I'm also working on one looking at the new generation of musical activists, which uh, I think will get funded, and I've got a bit of interest from ABC TV and other possible outlets, so I think that one's going to be up and running before long. And how about getting Return to Gaza screened overseas? Is that a difficult process? The producer I'm working with, on it is currently the American film market and she'll be back for the opening night of the Gold Coast Film Festival so I hope she comes back with good news but um, it's it's hit and miss and you know I've been told that there's so many documentaries on the Middle East that it's very competitive and I've come to learn that my success is somewhat dependent on picking you know really exciting projects that no one else has done. Well, it'll be a very interesting to see Return to Gaza at the Gold Coast Film Festival. It's coming up. The festival's from the 10th to the 16th. Do you know what day it's screening? Sunday the 14th at 4.30. Okay, Michael, we'll, uh, we wish you every success with Return to Gaza and hopefully uh, you get uh, worldwide distribution and who knows what might happen then. That'd be great. Thank you very much. That's a pleasure. That's Michael Weatherhead talking to us about uh, his new documentary film, Return to Gaza, which is screening at the Gold Coast Film Festival coming up.